Beware of illegal video cassettes. Check whether this video cassette carries a genuine hologram. Video piracy is a crime. Do not accept it. Demand a genuine cassette from your video store. Poor quality illegal video cassettes reduce your viewing pleasure and jeopardize future film production. When in doubt, telephone the Federation Against Copyright Theft, FACT, on 020-8568-6646. Or alternatively, if you live in error, please contact, in FACT, Suffolk Chambers, 1 Suffolk Street, Dublin 2, Error. Telephone 01 677 I'm working for the state, I'm a highway patrol. From the Farrelly Brothers, the directors of There's Something About Mary, comes the story of Charlie Bailey Gates. All his life, Sweetie, he's been a pushover. It's kind of dangerous. You want to move it up onto the sidewalk, away from the traffic? A patsy. I hate to bother you with this, but uh, your car is going to have to be moved. Pack it up behind the grocery store, will you, Charlie? A doormat. You people take checks? You mean the black man? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> hey, those things are illegal. Oh, God! Hey! Oh, it's all now! But inside every guy like Charlie, there's a guy like Hank. Doctors have diagnosed you as having a split personality. A schizo. You've been avoiding confrontation. But this guy inside, Hank, he doesn't. Good dick. I parked it for you. 20th Century Fox presents. Boy, you can't beat the open road! <laughs> the story of two guys. So it's true. Charlie is a schizo. Trapped in one body. What the hell are you still doing here? You can't get rid of me, Hank. Hank! In love with the same girl. I never wanted to sleep with you, Hank. You tricked me. Come on, don't be mad. <gasps> Jim Carrey. Look, I'm not here to twist your niblets. What? Sound good, candy pants. <laughs> me, myself, and Irene. It's no surprise to me. You're on. What? You're on. What's your name? Jimmy. Jimmy's into football. Me too! Nice underwear, Jimmy. You moving in? That's right. I'm your new dad. You go with me there, Jimmy. You pathetic little rat boy. Go on, then. This is a family now. My family. Don't want me to marry him. I just thought I'd uh, come and watch the lad play. Maybe you got to keep on trying if you really want something. Jimmy. You need a bottle.
It's my fault. From the moment she first tuned in, It's not that I don't find you attractive. Betty Sizemore has been in love. I'm just not ready. No, he's not ready. With her favorite soap opera doctor. I just know that there's something really special out there for me. But when her husband cheated the wrong men. Stupid is taking what doesn't belong to you. Really stupid. She's in a kind of shock. She went in search of the man of her dreams. I just know there's something special out there for me. What she doesn't know is that someone else is searching for her. We could be dealing with a cunning, ruthless woman. How are you going to find it? Well, I'll, I'll go to the hospital. You must know him. Dr. Ravel is gentle and considerate. He's being sued for sexual assault. What? Now, Betty's living out her fantasy. They're television characters. Right. Betty is in love with Dr. Right. David Ravel. I've missed you, David. Oh. <laughs> well, hold on. I'm having a moment here. But reality... I'm looking for a Betty Sizemore. ...is catching up with her. Betty would not be here because of a soap opera. That would make her... That would make her crazy! You are in serious danger. Hey, man, it's just an autograph. Not for me. No, it never is. I saw your TV movie! It sucked! How the hell blew you off the screen? Morgan Freeman. Boom, boom, boom. Three in the head, you know they're dead. Renee Zellweger. You have a thing for an actor on some stupid soap opera. Are you having a nervous break? <laughs> Chris Rock. What the? You do that on TV? And Greg Kinnear. I'm the great Dr. David Ravel, right? I think that she thinks that. Oh? Nurse Betty. What about Jess? Jasmine's a lesbian. You're not! Jasmine is not a lesbian! I know! I think you need some time off. Meaning? I'm recommending a leave of absence. You know I'm a good surgeon. I have to do what's best for the patients. Dr. Ben Cahill was looking for a second chance. There's just a certain amount of resentment here from mainlanders. I know, I can feel that. A place to start over. Why don't you sit down and have a drink? I don't drink. Well, I think you picked the wrong place to dry out. But on Orr's Island, something is lurking below the surface. You won't mind lending me your expertise for a while. Somebody's sick? Somebody's dead. What do you think, Doc? These marks here. These caused by crabs. Something's not right about this. Final tells us you've got a little bug problem. Maybe you want us to come out and take a look. How bad is this roach problem? You think I put bugs in your refrigerator? Yeah, that's right, I do. Well, I'm in a lot more trouble than I thought. Why? Because it looks like these animals are eating from the inside out. They bite their prey and paralyze them in order to lay their eggs inside the host. This just keeps getting better. That was a class pet. What about you? You ever been married? No! I guess I've already told you about my condition. Oh, well, only every time I see you. Since my injury, I can't make new memories. Everything fades. Amnesia. 
No, 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 no. It's different from that. I have no short-term memory. If we talk for too long, I'll forget how we started. And next time I see you, I'm not going to remember this conversation. You don't remember where you've been or what you've just done. I can't make new memories. It's like waking. It's like you just woke up. So next time you see me, will you remember me? You do not know who you are, what you've become since the incident. It's backwards. What's the last thing that you do remember? My wife. That's sweet. Dying. My wife deserves vengeance. When you find this guy, what are you going to do? I'm going to kill him. You wander around playing detective. Maybe you should start investigating yourself. I think someone's trying to get me to kill the wrong guy. You can question everything. You can never know anything for sure. There are things you know for sure. Such as? Who did this to you? You did. Even if you get revenge, you're not going to remember it. You're not even going to know that it happened. What? The world doesn't just disappear when you close your eyes, does it? Something to remember you by.